when very dark black man comes out of this situation he would have learned he would have learned a great deal that the same society he was fighting for trying to wade into Bobrisky's social menace has given Bobrisky an award for being the best dressed female to an event that actually had actual females in attendance i know very dark man would have learned that it it is actually safer to choose your battles and fight what you can fight um, with the powers that you have, knowing fully well that you don't own the society or determine the narrative. I would have stayed away from this um, conversation completely. And since his arrest a couple of um, days ago, I had stayed away completely because I do not want to be tagged a, a hater or a hater. A couple of times, a few times I have disagreed with him on some of the subjects he has um, 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 taken or the courses he had backed on. People had called me haters and they say I'm jealous and envious of his status. So I've stayed away. I just didn't. But today is Monday and it's looking like the day is gone and there are no, there's no word, no official statement. The only thing we have on social media about very dark, dark black man, um, very, very dark black man's arrest is for the people that is said to have uh, written the petition the police force is here to issue a statement on his arrest or detention or why he's been heard right again that shows the society that we, we live in it's quite disappointing i swear that by today words would have been out or maybe the processing of his release and bail but actually i think the case would have been civil and then most likely in, in, in senior claims such civil cases that's the one that is being used as a decoy now of why he's being detained uh, would have been taken to a court excuse me <coughs> but of course we are in a system <laughs> i've said it repeatedly um unfortunately very dark black man was uh I'll, I'll stick with vdm for now so i don't cut my tongue uh, vdm was in um the uk a couple of weeks ago or months now and then he made a viral video that that tried to detail uh, why he cannot stay abroad and went on to enumerate the enjoyment um, galore in the whole of Nigeria and all this. I know a few, I saw a few videos from people who have been abroad trying to say calm down, metal head, and then people were bitch dashing them and saying Nigeria too sweet and Nigeria too sweet. I'm sure that if he was anywhere in any of this country, he would not be where he is at the moment. And then he could go ahead and challenge whatever he wants to challenge, say it the way it is. And of course, he will not be even if he's going to that doesn't mean you are you are you are, you are safe 100 percent from litigations and accusations and petitions but you have right to fair fair hearing and then you probably have a chance to be able to argue your case i will not be thrown into prison on friday and the people bragged and said they didn't want him to be released uh, um, and wait till monday today is monday and monday is almost going and nothing is being heard it's quite unfortunate Right? I've said it before and I'll say it again. You may not like it, but it's the truth. We must learn to choose our battles. We must learn to focus on where we have strength. I personally said on this on this platform, and this is not like um is a time to ask for his release, and all of us in this country should demand that he, he, he should be released or charged to court. So at least the court would grant him bail and then he can begin to attend to the court processes and all that. But this the the the, the, the thing we must also not ignore. Is that I hope um, those of you that are encouraging me to saying everything and doing everything, and I do not have a problem with him because if so, somebody that you cherish like that, you see the future and you say, please, I wish you could just stay. He's not staying away. There is nothing as tempestuous as challenging the political um, cabal that controls the affairs of this country, and some of us have stood against that. Some of us had, had our voices heard and loud and clear. In challenging the status quo, called the current president names, I, I uh, said a lot of things before and after the elections. And then I was in Nigeria after the elections and even after the swearing in. So I didn't run really the election was declared. I only left months after when I saw that it wasn't looking like there was green light and all that. So, but we have constantly said the things that you have got strength in, the areas you have got uh, concentrated. Uh, uh, powers in focus on it and stay away from these things called distractions because i can tell you for free i'm here i can say it now right whatever is being peddled 
has been the reason very dark black man is being um, detained or incarcerated is a lie it's purely a lie of course it's a lie that same petition that was written by Toto DK and Yabo Ojo allegedly uh, that was that made them invite him to the police station and release him without even without any any other form of um, process would not be would not be woken up suddenly right now but of course he has said a couple, in his fight with Bobrisky, he has made a couple of allegations that they want him to come and substantiate. However, they know that the only way to have uh, pushed down the narrative and not make it sound as though they are they are taking side with somebody who is a cross dresser and has publicly said as ever for her that is into men, right? Uh, is to use that uh, decoy to say it's the petition that was written. Uh, uh, several months ago, that he has even be, he has even answered to at the police headquarters. So that that's that's the society that we live in. And I've said it here before. I've made video posts on this platform and got a couple of friends, a couple of people that don't even know me. Send me DMs and say drop that video, or re, re put it like that, or they just create a scenario. Let me tell you one of them. I made a video one time, and in that particular video, I was very brutal. I just got to the UK and I was very brutal. Someone called me and said, how many years passport did you come with? I told, I told the person, oh, which visa are you on? I told the person. I said, okay, I'm personally thinking that you should still be careful because you may be very safe, you may be in society like this, but you will still need the country in certain of the regards, in certain ways. So just, just be mind, do the things you can do for now until you've got um, 100% um, legal detachment from the systems of the country. That was wisdom. That was wisdom wisdom i pulled on that video and since then i have never crossed that line because i i'm abroad so i could wake up and call anybody and say yeah you do this you do that you do that and my name is penned down for something and tomorrow i get to want to do a couple of things and they say whoever sees what i do now knows that i'm just fighting for the interest of the betterment of the country right no personal attack no try by insult everything is just as you may not like my point of view, you may not like my perspective, but you cannot take away the fact that I love Nigeria and I love her with all my heart. This is the point that some of us have raised overly, but some of you think that, oh no, the man, wisdom is still the principal thing. I, I love VDM, someone I, fo I follow him on all platforms. I'm not sure, I've not seen his video on YouTube, so that basically may be the only platform I don't follow him. I follow him on all platforms, and I appreciate what he does, and I appreciate what he has brought to the table. All of us cannot fight politicians oh some of us may have to attack the the witches and wizard in charge of uh, our health uh, whether it's skincare or it's organic product whatever and that's what he did well and it, of course he has also raised his voice in so many ways against certain level of oppression and intimidation supported a lot of young nigerians that should get our attention but we have also said in some ways that there are some battles you have brought to yourself that you are not strategic with and part of it is uh, what we are seeing now i do hope that nigerian police force have got valid reasons and defense on why they have incarcerated him for this long and if it's really worth it because we cannot continue to say we want to have a better nation and we use our uh, we use the instruments of uh, the state to oppress and intimidate people unnecessarily right i wish him well and I pray that all of us will get to receive him in no distant time and will be back doing the things that God has called him to do. I believe that's a strong calling. However, for those of you that are fans of celebrities and people, when people are going wrong, let's always learn to call them to order and say, you did not get this right. I've got people like that in my life till today that call me and say, you didn't do that video well. You didn't say this right. I think you were wrong. And even sometimes it's stating certain level of fact. I read the comment one time. I made a video one time and somebody was in the comment telling me, oh, the reason why this wasn't happening wasn't what you said it, or but this is the reason how it happened. And I took that and I appreciated that person in the comment, right? I'm not um, I'm not I'm not a know-it-all person. I know a couple of things, but I don't know it all. And people would have divergent understanding and interpretation, and sometimes even information on certain things or in certain ways that I don't, right? Let's continue to pray that this man is released back to our society to fix the things that he's been called to fix. In the same way, I hope you also learns this time that there are certain battles you should not involve yourself in at certain level. I'm sure you will also begin to learn that some of us that ran uh, from the system to being able to address certain things from outside 
he now begins to know that it's not just it's not because of bees and shalai and beer and alcohol and flesh and weekends uh, we all miss that but we have to be in a place where we have got liberty freedom and opportunity to be able to address the things that we can address uh, by the grace of god i hope that the nigerian police force have valid reasons why they have detained him for this long i stand to say they should free very dark black man i'll catch you another time bye for now